Hello guys, so I'm going to show you an easy way on how you can manage multiple WordPress if you want to manage them using a VPS, virtual private server, okay, so that you don't need to pay any services, a, you know, like very costly services to, uh, for someone to manage your, uh, you know, websites, you can do it your own, it's actually very easy, so I'm going to show you how quickly you can set up your own, so as you can see here, I already set up the, this, uh, uh, software called Coolify, so this is a really, um, uh, nice platform where you can uh, have this uh, single line installation and you will be able to manage uh, your uh, applications your, if you have multiple WordPress using your own VPS. As you can see right here, uh, I already installed Codify in my own VPS which is right here. And later on guys, I will show you how you can quickly set, set up this uh, from the beginning, uh, from the selection of this server right here. So as you can see, I'm using Hetzner as the uh, cloud service uh, for uh, all my VPS right here. So here, I already have this uh, server set up. As you can see, this 135181, this is the IP address of where we installed Codify. As you can see right there, import 8000. So by default, it will be installed in port 8000. So the first thing that we, we will need to do is uh, come over to projects. So here, for example, we want to, uh, you know, uh, manage multiple WordPress websites and uh, we want to have a, a platform where we can easily do all the configurations, the settings without, uh, you know, being confused, especially for beginners. For beginners, this is really, really useful for you guys because it's very easy to manage. So here in projects uh, tab, you can just click on this add project right here. So you, you can say my WordPress sites. So here uh, inside this project, we can handle multiple WordPress, which I'm going to show you. So you have to keep watching guys. So and then click, click on continue. So once you have this, uh, you will be landed in this environment right here. You're still inside the project tab. So here you can add multiple environments. Suppose you can have a test environment, dev environment, things like that. So, but for now, we just need this single environment, which is production. So go inside production. And here, this is where we need to add our new WordPress. So first, we need to add our uh, first WordPress website. But let's say we have three websites, three WordPress websites that we want to set up in a single VPS. So now let's add the first one. So just click on get add resource. And here you can s scroll down, you can see multiple applications right here, but we will go to the uh, very end because uh, that's where uh, WordPress is sitting. Okay, so as you can see right here, we've got three WordPress right there. So just select this uh, WordPress with MySQL because by default, this is what we always use. So click that. Now here, the configuration that you need to do in this WordPress instance. So you can see this instant uh, service name. This is the time you will need to add your domain. So let's go to this uh, free DNS right here where we can add a free subdomain uh, for you to, uh, for us to demo uh, how it's going to work. So this one, we'll, we will create, uh, we assume that this is our domain. So we create a subdomain right here. So let's say we are going to select this uh, UK.2. Okay, as you can see here, and let's say our website is all about our vertical gardening. Vertical gardening. Okay, so I will, uh, our, our domain will be vertical gardening that UK.2. And this destination right here, we will be uh, adding the IP address of our VPS that we set up earlier. So we click this, okay, this IP right here, and we uh, paste that right there. And now just type this uh, security image. Okay, and hit on save. Now we have our first subdomain right there. Now uh, make sure before you copy this, before you copy this, you already set up the IP address right there. Now we go back to the configuration of this, uh, our first instance. So the service name, just typing the domain name. Okay, so you won't get confused if you have multiple uh, WordPress installation in this uh, VPS. Okay, now the, make, make sure you click on save. Okay, now here you see the services right here. This is where you need to update the uh, domain of, uh, I mean, the URL with your actual domain. So just click on these settings. And here, just type in the same domain name right here, but don't forget to add HTTPS, okay? HTTPS right there. And you click save again. And then after you did that, okay? So two things we, we did here. First, the service name, type in the domain. And then here in the settings of uh, the services, WordPress URL will be your domain, of course, with the HTTPS. Now, after you did those two things, click this deploy. Now here, it will create the WordPress instance. So eh, it will just take a few seconds. So as you can see here, it got created. So you see here, success starting containers and just got started. Okay. So our domain is now ready. So once we access it, we should be able to access our start the installation for WordPress. So click this links and make sure this is running right? just like that. So let's open this. Okay. So initially it won't have any uh, power. 
HTTPS, the SSL. Uh, we don't uh, need that for now. So this is just for you to, uh, for us to demo with you how we can uh, host multiple domains in a single VPS. So just complete the installation of this WordPress right here. So the title will be this one. This I thought that will be urban. I mean a vertical gardening right there. And this is for admin user. So for now, let's use a simple admin password and click confirm weak password in here. Just type in that email address just like that and click on install WordPress. And that's it. Our installation is done. We will be able to sign into our dashboard right there. So admin one. And there you go. That's our first WordPress. Now here, uh, let me just add uh, some new articles in order to see whether we have any issue with this uh, domain right here. So I'll just click on add new posts and I'll come over to my save article right here from Article AI Generator. So how to get uh, started with vertical gardening. So I'm going to add that as title. And then here, the body of the article right here, we have this SEO optimized uh, generated by Article AI Generator. So it's, you know, uh, this uh, article generator is really helpful for you guys to create new SEO optimized article. So we click that and then head over here, paste that right there. So this is our SEO optimized article. So we publish that and there you go. We have our first article. So let's view the website and there you go. We have this optimized article. So that's how we set up our first website right here in our uh, VPS. So let's do now ours. Uh, let's see if we can add uh, the next website. So we go back to this uh, configuration of our uh, Coolify. And since we already uh, confirmed that this vertical gardening that UK, our first WordPress is working correctly. So let's go ahead and click this uh, production again. And here we need to add a new resource. Suppose we are adding a second, uh, a second WordPress website. Okay. So the same thing we will select WordPress here with my SQL. And same configuration. So in our reality, in real world, what you need to have is suppose you have this, uh, actual domain. So what you need to do is I just copy your actual domain, copy your actual domain right there. And, uh, so paste that in the service name, the same thing as what we did earlier. And also uh, update this uh, WordPress, WordPress uh, URL with that actual uh, HTTP domain. Okay. So update that. So you will be uh, start to, uh, you will be able to start using your own actual domain. Okay. So, but we, since we don't uh, need to use this, make sure you also update uh, uh, a record, the same thing as what we did when we were adding a subdomain. Okay. So let's now try adding a new using uh, the same uh, service from the free DNS. So we add uh, another, um, free subdomain just to confirm we will have multiple uh, WordPress installation in that VPS. Okay. So again, we will uh, select the U UK.2 and this time we will be adding, let's say, urban gardening. Earlier we added a vertical gardening, this one, urban gardening. So we again copy the public IP of our VPS right there. So we just change the destination and again, this image Okay, there you go. That's our second, uh, suppose this is our second domain and then copy, copy the same thing and then uh, go back to uh, our configuration. Now change this to the name of our second domain right there. Click on save and again, change the uh, service name right there and click on save and then hit on deploy. And you'll see right here, uh, success, service status change. We now, we should be having our second WordPress website right here. So if you click on production, now we have two WordPress right there. So you can add as many WordPress as you want. Depends on the resource of your, um, uh, whichever you choose here when setting up the Heads Nerd Cloud. Okay. And so here, uh, what we need to do to start the setup of uh, Coolify. So what you need to do is add a new server right here using Hetzner. Okay. But if you have a digital ocean, if you're currently using digital ocean and you want to continue that. So here in digital ocean, you can spin up a new droplet right here. So just to compare the pricing, um, it's not that much difference because in digital ocean right here, uh, you will have this $8 right here, the minimum. But if you select other region, let's say for example, Singapore, and then here in regular, uh, the minimum is $6 per month. And in uh, Hetzner, so here, when we select the same region, let's say Singapore right there, and then uh, saying Ubuntu, then 
the minimum uh, payment is a uh, 8.14 so there's a cheaper one which is uh, right here this server uh, Europe Central and then the minimum uh, amount is 3.62 euro and then now uh, when we scroll down right here and we need to select both and then uh, scroll down further so that's the only configuration you need in order to uh, start setting up your server as you can see 4.17 euros so, so that's about uh, less than five dollars so here in Hetzner it's much cheaper uh, however you get uh, you know more value from your dollar so it has two CPU four gig of RAM 40 gig compared to a uh, digital ocean 1 GB uh, 25 GB SSD disk and uh, 1000 GB transfer uh, so uh, I prefer to use Hetzner but for some of you who are already using DigitalOcean so you can continue doing that so here let's create the server so once your server is set up like this what you need to do is to connect to SSH so that we can install the Coolify so copy this and come over to a terminal uh, type in SSH root and then add sign the IP address of the uh, server then hit on enter I just say yes oh here for the password after you set up your server you will receive an email email just like this so you just copy the root password you will be asked to change this root password the first time you sign it okay so just paste the password right here and here uh, it will ask you to change your password so enter your current password and then here your new password After you have changed your password, okay, the next thing what we, what we need to do is just copy this one-liner code that we will get from Codify. So just copy this and head back to the uh, terminal again. Just paste it right here. And then we will just need to uh, wait for some time to complete the installation. After Codify has been successfully installed, you will see this message, congratulations, your Codify instance is ready to use. So it will uh, give you this URL with your IP and this port 8000. So you just copy that. And look at this, our uh, Codify is ready uh, to be used. So here, we just need to sign up for a new account. And once you successfully sign in, just skip this onboarding. You don't need that. And there you go. Uh, you have your uh, Qualify, Codify ready to be used. You can start uh, doing the same setup that we did earlier in this video. Uh, you add your uh, new WordPress using these projects, okay? And then uh, click on Add, and then click on Add New Resource, Add WordPress, the same thing as what we did earlier, okay? And I think uh, that's about it, guys. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any question, uh, please leave the comment below. And uh, uh, please don't forget to leave a like. Thank you, and have a nice day.